to continue our discussion of memory. Now we've taken a look at two different types of memory, random access memory and read-only memory, RAM and ROM. Now, how do programs actually get to the memory? Let's take a look at how memory is addressed. Typically, the CPU can only see registers. The CPU really can't see anything out beyond the registers. Now, that's not entirely true. The CPU does have a visual picture of what is connected to in some senses. But effectively, the CPU likes to work with things that are close by first and foremost. So it likes registers a lot. The address of a register is just the register address. So register addressing simply points to the A register or the AX register or a half of a register or a whole register. Implied addressing is actually even closer to the CPU than register addressing. Implied means that the operation that the control unit is executing implies or understands what a register actually means. For example, whenever you execute the add statement in most machines, now keep in mind every architecture is a little bit different. We have multiple manufacturers out there that program and microprogram their chips a little differently, but in general, the add statement is a very low level primitive statement that adds two registers. Typically what you may do is you would move one value into an accumulator register, then you have the option of saying add another register. Well, when I say add register B, for example, what that would involve is both register addressing, because I've referenced register B, and implied addressing. To what am I adding register B? In that case, if I say add register B, it means take the value in register B and add it to whatever is already in my accumulator register. So that's implied and register addressing.